Welcome to Netlytics tutorial on text analysis features part 1. In this segment we will walk through how to use the keyword extractor features and how to create two visualizations to better understand the content of the textual discourse occurring in your dataset. With numerous online communities creating large amounts of text, Netlytic helps researchers to understand the issues and topics important to those communities. The text analysis tool functions similar to post-impressionist artworks by Van Gogh, Monet, and Canadian-born Tom Thompson, who often used broken brushstrokes to create works representing their perspectives of the world. If we look at works like Starry Night, Haystack, and The Jack Pine, up close we can view each individual brushstroke, but by stepping back we see all the elements working together to create a complete picture. Text analysis is similar in this approach. Researchers are able to not only visualize the larger general picture of a dataset's content, but are also able to drill down and view each individual message and element contributing to those visualizations. The Keyword Extractor tool visualizes textual content in the form of a familiar word cloud and a stacked graph. For this tutorial, we will be focusing on the Keyword Extractor features within our Text Analysis tab. For more information on visualizing and working with text categories, please see our text analysis part 2 tutorial. The link is provided below. Let's walk through analyzing and building these two types of keyword visualizations. Please note that you will need to have initiated data collection to access the text and network analysis features. Begin by logging into your Netlytic account. On your home screen, select the dataset you would like to work with. We will be using an Instagram dataset using a location for our example. This dataset was set to collect posts within a 15 mile radius of the Young Dundas Square in Toronto, Ontario, which is similar to Times Square in the US. The first screen will provide a preview of all the data collected. To access the text analysis feature, you can either click Next Step or click on the Text Analysis tab in the main menu. The keyword extractor identifies popular words within the data set by measuring how frequently they appear. By visualizing these results, researchers can discover key topics happening within a conversation and further investigate why predictable and unpredictable terms appear. Before we can visualize the text, we need to analyze the data. First, click the green analysis button, which also indicates the number of posts requiring analysis. Once you start the analysis, your request will be queued and execute on the server side, so this will allow you to either close the browser or work on another data set while you wait for the results. Depending on how many posts need to be analyzed, processing can take anywhere from just a few seconds to a few minutes. You'll need to click the Check Status button to refresh the number of remaining posts to be analyzed. Once the process is finished, you will see a message stating there are no new messages to process. The Keyword Extractor box highlights a few pieces of key information. First, it allows you to visualize the results or export as an Excel-readable CSV file. It indicates the number of posts to be analyzed, and it reveals the number of unique words within the dataset. The first visualization we can create is called a word cloud. To begin, click the blue button. Netlytic generates this visualization by counting the number of times each word appears over the course of the dataset. The word cloud displays frequency by associating a size to each word, so the larger and bolder the word, the more frequently it appears. You can adjust the filter to display the top 30, 50, or 100 words within the dataset by selecting your preference from the drop-down menu up at the top. To display the number of times a word occurs, check the box that says Show Estimated Counts and click Refresh. Users are also able to search for words in the dataset by using the search bar at the top of the screen. This can be useful to identify words or topics you expected to be in the dataset but have not appeared frequently enough to be visualized. To reduce noise words, Netlytic automatically identifies and removes common words, also known as stop words, that may not be useful for the content analysis. These are words such as of, will, and to that are included on a list of standard stop words from 18 languages including English, French, Arabic, and Russian. For a full list of stop words, please see the link listed below. 
In addition to standard stop words, we also suggest that you review the word cloud and remove any terms which are redundant or insignificant to your research by clicking on the red X to the top right of each word. For instance, in this data set we can remove the words Dundas Square, Dundas, and Toronto. Once a word is removed, the top keywords and topic counts will be recalculated so other frequent words can come to the forefront. Pay attention to words that are unexpected, as they may indicate unique conversation patterns happening within the community. For example, if we had a Twitter data set, the letters RT in the word cloud could be considered a noise word, but it could also demonstrate retweeting behavior. You can explore individual words by clicking on them. For instance, let's click on Streets of Toronto. A new screen will pop up and highlight specific information such as the number of members in the conversation who are using the word, the number of unique messages occurring, the history of the word trend, a chart illustrating the number of uses among the top 10 users or participants, and scrolling down you will be able to view each message in which the word occurs. If you click on the word shown in red, message details will be displayed, which include the date and time of the posting, as well as the message content. You can click back at any time to return to the word cloud. The second visualization shows the popular topics from the word cloud, but graphs it over time to see how the usage of individual words changes. Please note that to use this visualization, your dataset will need to have a date variable, or a date stamp. Click on the blue button, Words Over Time, to generate this visualization. The horizontal axis measures time, while the vertical axis measures the frequency of words in the forms of a percentage in relation to the overall conversation. This graph becomes important to illustrate how a topic's popularity changes over time, which researchers can then further investigate to identify what preempts this change. For instance, if we select our stat graph to show 30 topics, we notice the hashtag Matsuri is quite popular in the conversation around July 25th and 26th. Along the top left hand side, you can slide the toggle bar to adjust the number of topics that appear on the stacked graph. You have the option of selecting anywhere from 10 to 100 to be displayed. Like the word cloud, you can select individual words on the graph to discover why a particular word was mentioned. First, click on the word you'd like to investigate further. In this case, we'll select Matsuri. The next screen will display a list of all the instances where that word occurs in the data set with the selected word in red. You can then take a look at each individual instance by clicking on one of the rows. Netlytic will provide the date the message was sent, from whom, as well as the content of the message. In our example here with Matsuri, we notice that a lot of the messages are coming from July 26th. Further investigation reveals that Matsuri was a Toronto Japanese summer festival. To exit the screen, click close along the bottom right. Before we end, here are a few additional things to keep in mind when working with the keyword extractor tool and visualizations. A dataset can be either live or static. A live dataset is where Netlytic is still collecting data from the import source and is indicated by the status wheel which appears on your dataset home screen. A static dataset is where Netlytic is no longer importing from the data source. This could be either because the collection period has ended or it was a one-time import source, such as a text file. If you decide to work with a dataset while it is still live, you will need to analyze any new and incoming messages from the Analysis tab. You can use the Reset button to bring your dataset back to its original state. This does not mean you are deleting the data collected, you're only undoing any removal of words done up until this point. For instance, earlier we removed the words Toronto, Dundas, and Dundas Square from our word cloud. By clicking Reset, those words will return to the visualizations because we are returning the dataset back to its original state. Please note that after you reset, you will need to reanalyze in order to create the visualizations. Netlytic automatically identifies the longest field, usually the description or the title, for text analysis. 
If your data set includes another field of text other than the default, you can use the additional processing options to select an alternative field for analysis from the drop-down menu. When visualizing words over time, it is best to use a data set with a collection period of four days or more, otherwise you may not see much change in the popularity of topics over time. Depending on the topic of your research, you may have a large data set. If you have more than 10,000 records, an additional menu will appear on your text analysis screen. Within this menu, you can split your data set to make processing faster. You also have the option to use the Beta Cabana dashboard. For more information on this feature, please visit Netlytics YouTube channel. To split the data set, click the scissor icon. The pop-up screen will ask you to create a subset based on a date filter. Click on the calendar icon to select the date range for the from and before fields. Click Select. A message will appear indicating your subset has been created and you can then close the window. Netlytic will return to your dataset home screen and here you will notice that under the initial dataset, a second appears with the same title but includes a date range. This is also a useful tool if you are interested in analyzing the content from a particular day or a number of days separated from the whole collection period. Thanks for watching. For more information on how to use Netlytic, please visit our YouTube channel. Documentation can also be found on our website at netlytic.org.